Welcome students. This is a tutorial to show you how to navigate an online digital creative tool called Canva. We have just finished reading Monster by Walter Dean Myers. You have been assigned to your small groups and hopefully you have chosen from one of the prompts what you would like to dig a little deeper into related to our reading of the novel. To use Canva, open your web browser you can type in canva.com and you'll be brought to a screen like this in the upper right hand corner or here where it says in the middle where it says sign up for free you will log in with your email create a password and you will be brought to a home screen that looks like this Canva will allow you to create a video, a book, a presentation, a flowchart, an infographic, all sorts of options, a poster, however you want to display your topic. So here in the search bar, I can look up infographic and it will show me all sorts of templates that Canva provides. These are just ideas, you can create your own, but if you choose one of these templates, you can move things around, delete sections, modify the text, add your own pictures, or add other images provided by Canva. Let me go look at, so at, here at the top, I'm gonna switch for a sec and show you posters. These are templates for posters. Now, when you're looking at templates, do you see how it has this dollar sign in the lower right-hand corner? Sometimes it's a crown. Those are ones that, templates that cost extra, but there are lots of awesome options with the free version. So let's pretend I have chosen a prompt um, to research and explain to my peers what restorative justice is, and I want to create a flow chart. I can search flowchart. There are all these templates. There's some with the crown. And I'm just going to find one do, 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 to use as an example. Okay. And then it opens it up. Now, in my opinion, sometimes these are small. Down here, at the bottom where it says 43%, you can zoom in and make it bigger so that you can modify it more clearly, okay? So here's a text box where it says, a guide to effective communication. I am going to highlight all of that and put in my top. If I want to increase the font size, in this bar up at the top, it's very similar to Word. I can choose different fonts. I can choose the color. I can choose the size, make it bold, make it in italics, center it. I can move this around. I can delete a text box that I don't want. If you want to add a new text box over on the left, you'll see a column and a big T text, you can use these stickers that Canva provides that are kind of fun, or you can add a text box like this. And then you can move it wherever you want, and you can just start typing. So I might put all of my group member names, make it a little bigger so everyone can see it move it where I want, where it's going to look good. If I want to add an image on the left, where under elements, there are lots of little graphics and word bubbles and emojis and fun stuff that Canva provides. You can use any of those or I can go to upload and I can choose an image that I might have stored on my computer uploading. Now I have these options that have been uploaded over here on the left. I'm going to click one 
it pops right in. It's so big, but Canva allows me to change the size and move it around. If you don't want an item like this number one, I can just delete it. And then I can add all of my information right here. It's really simple. I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun getting creative with this stuff. Okay. Whenever I am ready to sh save and share, please save first. In the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click on share. And then I'm going to click on download. Click on download again. Give your Chromebook a minute. I'm going to click open file. Looks great. At the top where it's black, do you see the three little dots? I'm going to click on that. Save as. And then I can put it in the folder I want and save it. Exit out of that. This is kind of fun because it allows you to make a few versions if you want. And then you and your classmates can, your group members can decide which one you like the best. Okay. Now, if I want to um, share the link, I can copy it here. Okay. And I can paste it into my Google Classroom or wherever I want to share it. I hope you have fun and I cannot.